Hey, old mate, how you going? Oh, I love pork chops. You, you eat pork chops even though they, they, pigs suffer for them? Oh, I love pork chops. This is, this is quite brutal, actually. This is the sh I know, but slaughterhouses. It's so sad, but... It's very... Goring. Shocking. <laughs> So it was actually this location that I filmed um, back in 2017, the best debate I've ever had. And uh, this place is actually blessed. It's quite, got quite some quite big videos from this place when I uh, burst onto the UK activism scene back in the days. Let's see if we can remake it. Maybe she'll walk past the lady I debated again and she's vegan. Maybe she's an activist now. Hey, look what we've got here. We've got Hinch Herbivore here. Oh, hello. Got a friend here. Hi. How are you? I'm very well. Good. Slow to have you down, my friend. Hench is my bodyguard today. <laughs> have you seen this? This is a, come around this side. This is a pigs at a sanctuary, but. Hey, this is uh, the dairy industry. Do you know much about the dairy industry? No. No? Uh, they shoot the, the male calf sometimes on the farm because they uh, won't grow to produce milk. There's a calf slaughterhouse. Hey old mate, how you going? Oh, I love pork chops. You, you eat pork chops even though they, they pigs suffer for them? Oh, I love pork chops. You like suffering animals? Love you love a bit of suffering? He's been a bacon troll since 1946. It's probably one of uh, Donald Watson's original bacon trolls and he's still, still trolling. I'm veggie. You're a veggie? I think more and more oat milk, so. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because uh, the dairy cows uh, get a pretty hard time in the dairy industry, actually. Nice. And they all go to the slaughterhouse to be, to be killed for beef. Well, this is why I went to bedroom, because when you were little, I think cows are like puppies. I never realised They're beautiful, yeah. Do you, do you know much about the egg industry? Yeah, what, with the little hens, the, the little, little get wings and then mushed into cats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Chickens are in cats. Yeah. So I do a lot of investigations myself as well. So I go into the factory farms here in the UK, and a lot of people don't actually believe that most of the animals come out of factory farms here. Because they, they see a lot of like this high welfare narrative that the farmers push. And you'll always see these dairy cows out on the grass and you'll see like some sheep and stuff. But really it's, they're all enclosed. Uh, all the, the chickens, basically 100% of the chickens right now yeah. are all in factory farms because they can't have any fruit. Yeah, exactly. So, but even before then, around 95% of chickens are factory farmed. You know, and, and over ninety percent of the pigs are factory farmed. I know it's sad. I do just need to go yeah. vegan, really. Yeah. But, and they they do lie to people. That's they market okay. to people. You know. So when you see when you see labelling, you have to imagine they're selling you like a car. If I'm going to sell you a car, what am I going to tell you? It's an amazing car. I want to yeah. sell it. Especially like they're getting desperate too. So they tell people all of these lies about humane dairy and humane eggs, and you need these nutrients and things like this. These are the I'd like to ask you questions about it because I don't want you to watch this and then be either upset or not ask questions so that you can understand what's happening. These are the, these are like the mummy hens who lay the eggs um, and they get, this is an enriched cage system and I've been in these places in the UK. Oh bless you. So, but this is a free range shed. What? This is a free range shed. What? What made, I thought free range meant they could go outside. They can, so they, what they do is they open up the sides of the sheds, right, and they can, some can get access, but you've got to imagine there's 16,000, you have their pecking order, so they don't let some of the, some of the hens don't let the other hens out. Um, but it's, that's not really the problem that they, whether they can or can't go outdoors, it's more that they're laying egg after egg after egg after egg, yeah. and it sucks the nutrients out of their body. So you'll see, when, often when, uh, when you go into these sheds, you'll see hens dying on the floor because they're just, they're exhausted. This is a slaughterhouse, actually. This is me with the rescue hens. Oh, oh no, I've heard bad things about lamb. Yes. Really well, the dairy industry cows. more, so in the, like I was saying about organic dairy, so what happens, they impregnate the, the cows. Yeah. It's too crude to tell you how they do it. It's really perverted, actually. No, I know about artificial uh, Yeah, and they, how they remove this, the yeah. males from the... That's what the hormones are. That's why mummy can only produce milk for you and 
when I was pregnant and had you. Okay? Yeah. So with a cow's the same. They impregnate the, the cow and they do it force, forcefully without the cow's consent and it's not a natural process. It's the farmer doing it to the, to the cow. And then the, the, the cow will have the baby in her stomach for nine months, like a, like a human being. So, and then they, they develop a bond with this baby, but immediately after birth, the calf will be taken from the mother. That's so sad. So, yeah, so they have a maternal bond with the calf and the mother have this in, intense in, in, maternal bond and they're incredibly maternal animals, cows, and they separate them, yeah, the farmers. And then they give the cow, the, the calf, the, the colostrum, which is the first feed from the, the mother. Sometimes they let them stay with the mother to have that first feed, but after that they're separated and then they put them in hutches. The female ca calves will go in hutches away from their mothers. This is, this is quite brutal actually. This is the sh I know, but slaughterhouses. It's so sad, but it's very boring. shocking. It's really bad. It's really good that you teach your ch children this, actually. I mean, yeah, it's good that they know actually what goes on because. But in the dairy industry as well, because you guys wouldn't be eating, eating lambs anyway, would you? But in the dairy industry, so the, the male calves will, they will either be raised for veal, which is baby calf meat. Yeah. They're going to be killed for veal, or they go for beef. Sometimes they kill them on the farm as little babies, yeah. but they'll be outlawing that by the end of this year. Oh really? But, That's good. Well, just because they're outlawing it doesn't mean they're, they're gonna not, not gonna but, but they're still killing for veal calves and they're still killing them anyway. All the mama cows will go to the slaughterhouse to be turned into burgers. When after about, it's usually about three or four cycles, so three or four carvings, um, and taking her milk, taking her milk, taking her milk. Sometimes they can get injuries, lameness, mastitis, which is an inf infection yeah. of the udder where the pus goes into the milk. Um, but then they go, all go to the slaughterhouse. Yeah, um, I give them the choice of what they want to eat. Just yeah, it's yeah. Their choice as children. It's good that, this is what I say to parents as well, like, Giving children a choice means giving them a choice, saying, okay, the animals are killed for this. Do you, you, you want to eat? Fish, didn't you? Yeah. That, was you that was only when we were, we were learning about the Stone Age. Yeah. I found it but quite interesting. Gathering, I can yeah, tolerate I, more than I found it interesting. Yeah. I did kind of feel bad, but it what was it, tasty. What did you think about, how do you think the fishy felt? Horrible. Do, how did you kill the fishy? Do you remember? So it was already, no. No. Well, obviously the person who gave it to us obviously killed F it. Fished them out the out the yeah, water. Yeah, probably killed it, and then we had to rip it to go. Oh, oh so you didn't kill the fishy. You just no, helped prepare the fish. Prepared it, okay. So. If you think about a hook, when a fish is in the ocean, right? It rips and they see like food, and they're they're actually hungry, so they go and bite it, and they, they it drags them out the ocean, and they suffocate, and yeah, then they die. What sucks because um, even if you were going to release the fish, if you don't take it out properly, less they're going to die. Yeah. Because if yeah, because they get pulled out of their home, don't they? This is some UK stuff. This here is Happy Cow. It's the best app. You can find a vegan when you're out anywhere. It'll show you where there's vegan options, vegan, a whole vegan restaurant. I will try more. So, I think it's just a case of just trying. Yeah, I mean, well, oh, that's all right. It's good that you're teaching your kids. It's really good that you're learning, actually. You're going to be a lot smarter than all the kids at school, actually, about this. It's sad because it's happening yeah. in, in the UK alone. It's, it's over a billion animals that are, and most of them are factory farmed and, and killed. In, in the world, it's like 80 billion land animals and trillions of sea animals. They can't even count them. There's so many that get killed. And there's a lot of suffering as well. So, but everyone has the power, so. No, thank you. I think we will try a bit more, won't we? Yeah. I'm pretty much vegan full time, aren't I? I just need to stop making I need to get over steak. To... Yeah. yeah, that's what I need. You've got to imagine what steak is. I used to eat more steak than anyone. I love but, steak. But I, I, now I think of steak as, who was that? Yeah. You don't think of what you're eating. Don't call it steak. That was a, that was a someone. They had a personality that didn't want to die. And, and that's a piece of their body. That's what steak is. Mm. No worries. Thank you. Take care. See you later. Appreciate it. Bye bye. That doesn't, that really, that actually rarely happens. Yeah. Where a mother oh, just like gives I, consent to. I bet you to get a bit, bit of like pushback, do you sometimes <clears throat> from parents? More often than that happening would be someone saying, don't show this, there's kids around. But uh, that was 
which I sort of get, I suppose, but you know, they're probably the ones that, well, stop, stop funding that and then I won't need to keep doing it. Exactly, that's what I say to them. <laughs>